uh, to kind of get through that oh. or like a uh, body attack like a 3k or something like that oh yeah and that's the thing like um you can uh let me adjust my screens here uh you can do a rona move so like if they do some kind of bad block punishment like uh like a high you can go right into uh, the dp and it'll crush it is really strong okay sal going in with all the pressure right now but the 1k coming up from ender's gonna use the plus frames up throw Sal, notoriously hard to throw. Good now throw text. Um, and the one thing is like, so going forward, like tournaments and whatever, um, he, if you need like a speedy character with a good block punishment, um, how Mario would not be it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but he basically, um, for now, I'm kind of seeing him as kind of a, I guess, a, uh, a nightmare that has a 2 a uh, frame. Uh, yeah, not that I mean, yeah. he has, like, you know, great, crazy pushback or anything. It's just the nature of, like, his punish game. Uh, yeah. With, like, decent purpose. Yeah, he has uh, a few I-12s. Like, his 6 6 is I-12, 2A I-12, Mars and K I-12. Okay, gonna get the heavy slash, though. Sal, going in with all this plus frame pressure. Yeah, he's trying to step afterwards, but that 2A from his has a lot of range. Gonna get the combo. Oh, is, Sal, is that 6B? Um, not 6B. I was, um, I, I, I really like that. Yeah, 6 is really uh, strong. It's just kind of like a forward uh, stab. It has like a lot of range. Yeah, and on hit, it can actually transition to a 50-50. That is really powerful. Oh, the um, I want to punch with my fist stance? Uh, no, it goes into Warrior's Focus, which has like the health oh, yeah. sweep and the mid. Which maybe yeah, so we'll is, is that the one with the slide tackle low attack, right? No, no, no. That's the, no, no. That's uh, the punch stance. Warrior Focus is the one where he has that, that one where he crouches low. That's Warrior Focus. Okay. Are you gonna get the thrill though? Ender's gets the whiff punish on the 2A. Um, and he's kind of like uh, designed as like a, I guess the the standard Soul Calibur uh, character template, right? Like basically like all his moves except like one stance slow are like negative on hit, like minus two, and minus four. Uh, his 1K is plus four on counter hit. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, but definitely negative on uh, on regular hit. But yeah, regular hit. Is, uh, pretty damn good. Yeah, it is really good. Oh, gonna get them with the Earthquake Divide. Oh, that's all Ender's though. Gonna get the DP. Great positioning here. Throwing them back. Gonna keep them in the corner. But Sal getting the whiff punish. And this is what Haramaru is sells at. Is these whiff punishes. Okay, Duff City. Let's go. Sal getting in them punches. And, and he, the whiff punish. He just needed like a, like a, I guess, a fast move with like a ton of range. Like 6s K would do the job. <laughs> Yeah, you could also do, um, you can use his stance, like, so you can do two, or six B plus K, uh, uh, to go into Warrior Focus, and then do Warrior Focus B A, and as Sal did right there, getting that whiff punish, and getting the lethal hit, um, now how his lethal hits, uh, work, is he gets, uh, he has two lethal hits that require heavy slashes, the first one is that one there, which you need three heavy slashes, and he also has another lethal hit that works at, which is the 236 B, uh, which is at five heavy slashes. Okay. Uh, and he can end a lot of combos with heavy slash, so it's not really that hard to get. Um, pretty, pretty good overall. Right, okay, we're gonna get the new stage here. This stage, the walls are a bit wonky, but so far we've not seen any wall combos, so not, it hopes may not play a huge factor. And there's that stance right there. That is a 50-50 you gotta eat. I love he has like the barrel roll back the stance. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it, pretty evasive his stances. Not gonna go for the punish. Okay, yeah. Here. Uh, maybe respecting the, the, uh, the yeah. Ooh, okay, getting the jo oh, trading just frames. Let's go. That is a really hard just frame to get. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a DP motion, but you gotta do it fast. Yeah, it's essentially like a uh, electric one god fist. Okay, there we go. He doesn't punish the sweep, but the string coming through. Ender's J looking to get the route, but no, gonna get the block. Oh, but the back step on the front flip. Yeah, so Sal, you know, he's a Tekken player, so maybe he's got those just frames on lock with that uh, 6 2 3 a There we go, right, going to that sand for them. Like, oh, those jump moves uh, seem not great, then I saw one of them lethal hit, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so his 4 4 k lethal hits when it jumps over lows. That's so dumb. <laughs> That's so good. It's crazy good. Okay, no whip on it. Nice, getting the cancel into the combo. Sal got them of his own, though. Kind of spacing each other out. Gonna get the duff. Ooh, and the big plus frames. Ender Day's trying to challenge, but no, he can't play punishing there. Oh, Sal dropping the 2 2k. Ooh, I like it. Break the divide. 
and catching him with the punish on the please, with the punish on the two ways. Look, maybe the move might negative twelve, perhaps. And that's it. so when he glows green like that, that means he has one of the lethal hits ready to go. Great, which he can spend on. Um... So yeah, I think he has the. Uh... Yeah, so I think he has the uh... the stance one. The warrior's focus BA. Okay, Sal going with the lows right now though. Rage. One thing with uh, Haramaru's rage as well is it does change the properties of a lot of his moves. Yeah, nice plus K would just be safe on well, not safe on block, but it will um, only get the dagger. Yes. Oh, it's I'll get it to confirm though. Great hit confirm. That's one thing with Haramaru as well is he is heavily reliant on hit confirms, but he gets a lot of damage off of it. It drinks and take a swig, healing that life bar, healing that guard gauge a little bit. Dance, a lot of <laughs> poking at each other. Okay, getting lower than K with punish. Just backing up. Gonna get a not an amazing with punish, but better than nothing. Flipping on him. He catches Ender's pressing a button. That'll look really strong in this round. Yes, this game is just like so hilarious because you just basically just have a long range I twelve. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Uh, it's super plus on hit. Has great range, fast. It's weirdly yep. wide too. Oh, great whiff punch with the heavy slash though. Saldo gonna pop soul charge. Just want to with the pressure. And his soul charge tornadoes. You can actually not step those. They track fully. So you can step it normally, but not soul charge. Correct. Oh, getting a full combo. Crazy damage coming through from Sal. Showing off that he's got these combos. He's been laving this character a lot. And that's why you want to play like Haramaru. It's like big damage on just like just short hits. <laughs> Sal staying on the ground. Going at the 50-50. Not quite enough. Oh, but no oh, frame advantage. So he's just going to just, just go right into it. Like just back right away. <laughs> and that's that. That's that move right there. That is that uh, I-14 horizontal mid. And uh, Ender's banked it all on that move. He blocked. If Sal didn't try anything, uh, Ender's was dead. That move is crazy negative. And uh, so Ender's J wants to see Haramaru as a very serious secondary to his uh, Cervantes. Yes. Um. So they they both like to whip punish very similarly, and um, both their what punishes are okay-ish. So yes. what I want to know more about is like how's um how Maru's um ability to chase opponents want to run away. Uh, it does seem like he's got the long range post to be able to make that happen. I want to know your thoughts about that. No, he for sure does. Like things like six B is incredibly long range, leading yeah. to a mix up on hit. Uh, amazing 50-50. and he has all these amazing hit confirms, and his movement is just fantastic. Well. Oh yeah, so yes, and that and service movement's good too. So like that will kind of put him in the comfort zone. Uh, and at the same time, he'll finally have, like, tools to, uh, chase down. But I do agree with what he's saying. You know, he's got long range, um, good hit confirmed. Uh, I, I, I like the 6B. I like the 6 k which is hilarious, again. <laughs> yes. And he has um, great horizontals as well. Something that I know Andrews J is really just kind of, he didn't like the changes, uh, to Cervantes with the B nerf. So he's really taking this character, he's thinking about taking this character very seriously. So even though it's still, like, day two, um, I'm it's starting to look like it's going to be a, sec uh, a solid secondary for uh, Razor Man. Sure. And Sal is actually looking to take this character as his main. Oh, <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> yeah. Going in, he got the Samurai. He got the Masamune. Oh, with the Dragon Punch, though. Oh, Mr. Whip Punish is going to be big. Oh, oh no, didn't get the full Punish, though. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. Despite being enraged, it's only negative 18 still. Go big damage, Sal evening life bar. Oh, put the second hit while in rage. Ender J not able to block it, getting nice. the DI and the whiff punish on the reversal ledge. So both players knew he uh was uh disadvantaged on that uh, 1k, so that's why um uh Ender decided just to go right into a uh a GI pass that so. yeah, okay, don't win with the earthquake. I think that was a huge heavy side. That did a huge grip of damage. Oh, he back rolls out of there. That was so sick. Sal going in, going all tech. There we go. Six B on hit. Leading the mix up. As an aside, that's such a sick custom on, on Haramaru. 
Oh, and he pops Rage Explosion. He is so powered up right now. Gets the duck, but attacks the throw. That, that was a mistake. That should have been a, a full crash B plus K punish. And there it is. So he blocked the uh, the the Rage Explosion uh, Critical Edge there, and uh, gets the block punish. Only got him one for an A A B, but fortunately Ender's just didn't blocked the, the last hit of the string. Oh, it's back turn. Let's go. Got the lethal hit ready to go. That could have been maybe a 2 lethal hit, but... Have the top for that. And that's going to be a 3-2 to a 6-B? that a combo? I don't even know, but... We're in good position here. Ender's going to... Oh, he fakes the mix-up. Goes for the throw. Gets tech, but still, like, what a great reset from Sal. Popping. Is he going to pop Rage Explosion? Yes, he is. Full charge kicking down, lower and lower damage. He's gonna try to make something happen where he got 50 50, but we respect the minus frames. Oh, but that's a good punish from J to yes, take it over. It is. Now, letting the full unblockable go, uh, I'm interested to see. Maybe he wanted to hold it and just kind of let go of it by accident, or maybe he was just thinking that Ender just was not going to react to it. 